The Silent Rescue. Wilson stopped and angled his head, listening to the moaning sounds nearby. He pocketed his compass, furrowed his brow, and glanced around at the trees and dense undergrowth of brambles and brush. The moan came again from up ahead, and Wilson crept forward as quietly as he could possibly could. He spent enough time in the mountains to know that being cautious was always the best strategy in the wilderness. Ducking under the low branch of the hackberry tree, Wilson stepped over a long, sturdy-looking log and came upon a steep slope covered with slick moss. <clears throat> the slope formed one side of a pit that looked about 12 feet deep. Down in the pit, sitting in the mud with his back toward Wilson, was a lanky young man in a stylish red hat, jeans, and white sneakers. The man moaned again and muttered to himself, Great! What will George and Samuel think of me now? Wilson remembered this man from earlier in the day when he and his dad had been hiking along the trail. The man and his friends had trotted past, laughing and bellowing. Make way for the mountain men! They had looked sure of themselves then, as though they knew everything there was to know about the Appalachian backcountry. Now, however, Wilson was looking at the self-proclaimed mountain man, stranded in a pit. Because the man didn't look injured, Wilson figured he probably was just too embarrassed to call for help getting out. Wilson quietly rolled the nearby log to the edge of the slope, eased it lengthways into the pit, and then backed away. He heard the man shout, Hey, what luck! My way out! I hope you at least learn something, Wilson thought, heading back to his camp. 